Hello YouTube, Ken Hale here with another Black Desert Online video for you and today's video is going to be my last video on the series of videos that I released in preparation for the other leader release on the land of non-Korean. As far as I know, the, uh, the content is coming out for you guys on this Wednesday, October 7th. So I wanted to finish this series here with um, one final video for you guys. This time I took a different approach to the recording I actually released at this time I actually took a different approach to recording the content. I actually recorded all this footage uh, yesterday with the community on the stream to, to get a little bit of a more, more fluid uh, approach here and uh, conversation with the crew. Uh, I added out a lot of the, the, the stream itself so that you could just get the actual hopefully useful pieces of information here. But uh, let me know what you think of this approach and let me know if it is not as useful as the regular uh, sitting on my own here and recording and going through things a little more meticulously But I hope I provide you enough information for this video and uh, Yeah, I hope you guys are ready to enjoy the uh, the later content coming out this week for you guys get ready to farm For uh, that dead god armor. So uh, yeah, enjoy the footage. Are you ready? Starts at 74% Let's go one tap There you go. Ooh, 53 already. Okay, one tap 35 so 23% let's use a 15 stack I guess now let's use 10 of these one tap, okay, 15%. Let's use a 15 stack. What does it get us? 35. There you go, plus five. So we are at 10%. We use a plus 20. We have nine plus 20s. 20s are pretty easy to make. 28%. One, two, okay, two tap. Now we have 7%. Another plus 20. So what? 18? Seven. Okay, so now, yeah, so now if you fail, you go down a level. I don't think I want to do that. So let's start our gathering or life skilling section here of Odalita with our Delosia, which is the newest resource here. It's kind of dark, so let me turn on my fairy here. If you, if you cannot see well here, you can check my other, my first episode of Odalita preparation guide. And so there's going to be Delosia flowers. Let me show you where I am in the map here. On this side here, on the on the eastern side of Odalita, between the city and the mountain here, you're gonna find a lot of Delosia flower spawns. There's one right here. And if you hit your R key, of course, you can gather. And another one over here. And all around, up and down here. Except for the red, the, ro the red ones don't give Delosia spawns for some reason, but all the other colors seem to spawn flowers uh there should be a there you go some more here so you can go up on the right side and, and then come back down on the left side here you can easily burn all your alts energy worth of uh delosia here maybe with, with, within one change of servers or channels so you can come gather i've never gotten uh the this that special procs but again I, my my gathering level is not very high and i'm not wearing gathering gear but you can get two special procs from the lotion flowers it's kind of dark kind of hard to see but uh yeah, just just know that all around here right in town you can park all your alts and sit in the city uh, and burn all your energy and come and gather the lotion flowers they're just called the lotion they're not called the lotion flower let's see if the price is still the same so yeah so they're still worth about three thousand three point five thousand silver a piece right so you can keep going here and getting out the lotion you might have to change your channel uh maybe once or twice because i'm not sure how fast the respawn is here but you can see that you can clearly see here they have a lot of the lotions here to go around so just go again to the east side here again i'm right here eastern side of Draxia or Draxia, not Draxia or Draxia, and you can um, get all your Delosia needs. All right, so that's it for the Delosia. So let's check out now the hunting. So that for hunting, all the mobs that I found for hunting are going to be here around Naxium. So let's go over there, and I can show you where we get. Uh, where's my rifle? Right here. I cannot compare it with, with the plus ten sadly because I had to use a plus ten blue rifle to build this one
But yeah, so speaking of hunting, so to build to build this rifle, you're gonna need check here the requirements. Right, here you go. So you need one plus ten of the blue hunting musket artisan. Is that the artisan the yellow one? So yeah, so you're gonna need a plus ten of those. Right? And then you're gonna need one hundred of the new uh, plank, not plank. Uh, what is this called? Plank, yeah. So you're gonna need 100 planks from the new Brumble tree or Thorny Vine tree, however they translate that. And then 50 nickel ingots, and then 200 black stones uh, powder. And then five of these, these here you get from mobs in Odalita. A uh, pretty rare drop. I was able to get four in about, I wanna say at least 10 hours. Took me 10 hours to get, I think, to get four of these, maybe more. And then the last one I bought from the marketplace. You can, yeah, you can buy them from the marketplace. You can see here the price is 27 million for these. So if you get them while you're hunting in Odalita, you can get a quite, quite nice chunk of money there. And uh, you, there's also a quest that you can do on the hunting quest, starting from a character here in Ethereum Port, Port Ethereum. There's a, an NPC that gives you hunting quests here. If you've done the hunting quests, you know her quite well, but uh, you can get one of these as a re reward from doing the quest. So if you get one of those, you're only gonna have to grind for four more here in Odalita. And of course you need your tool house here to be level four. Any, from what I've seen, any of the level four or rank four tool crafting houses will do. All right, so one of the first new mobs here that you can see is uh, the this rhino thing here. Uh, it takes Last time I tried with the plus 10 artisan rifle, it took over, I think, close to 30 shots to kill. And the rifle was stronger than this one because it was a plus 10 uh, special mechanics. It does have more durability. You can see here the max durability is 150. So in theory, and hopefully in practice, you're going to be able to repair 50% less often. Right. So one, two, three. Oh! One, two, three. <laughs> 26. There's a, there's a grass beetle now here. 26. <laughs> 27, 28, 29. So there doesn't seem to be any advantages. 2, 20, 32, I think. Yeah. And so yeah, a little over 32. And from it, you're going to get. Oh, I got lucky there. So five meat, five skin, and five of the other, whatever the other thing was. So yeah, and the, and the worst part about hunting this area here is these goddamn grass beetles. There's so many around here that you, if you don't pay attention, you're gonna hit a bunch of them by accident, and you're gonna really slow down your hunting, your, 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 your hunting speed. See, now he's following me, trying to tickle me. So let's get out of here. Let me show you the other mobs here. Now we do have some wolves here as well. Let's go check them out. These guys here. These seem to be the best. So one, two, three, four. There's a grass beetle over here. You gotta be careful of them. So you can probably kill these with about four, three to four shots once you get this musket to plus ten. That seems to be what you're gonna have to do. But besides the extra durability, it seems like there's not not a lot of different and the damage of course you get 10% more damage at plus 10 uh, compared to the artisan hunting musket so there you go you get about six six meat four blood and two this seems you no know, I think the average is probably gonna be about, about four 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 of each kind of uh, per per grab here so that's for the wolves and there's just good old wolf meat wolf skin and wolf blood and here you have the lions. So let's see how many shots it's going to take me to kill the lions. One, two, three. And they have this little thing here, this little howl. They got to dodge for six, 22, 23, and 24. So no buffs at plus seven. Took me 24 hits. And this is what we got. We got 10 lion meat, two lion bloods, two lion leathers, and these other things here. So yeah, 
so there's the, those are the lions. Ten lion meat for what? 20, 24 shots? Is that, is that what it took me to uh, to kill the lions? I'm not sure if that's worth it. Your time? I'm not sure what the lion meat prices are. Let's kill one more over here. Of course, if you get if you come here with plus ten rifle, fully buffed, you can probably do less and I'm. A little less under 20 shots probably so this is way worse so i guess the range between six and maybe maybe six and 12 meat so not fantastic drops here for these lions considering how many shots it takes for you to get rid of them All right so my 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 uh, suggestion while you're grinding for your special drops to craft the new rifle is going to be to grind the deer because the deer die really quickly couple of shots on these deers here should get rid of them so you can kill them quite fast and I got all my four drops from these deers so you can see two shots they drop dead and you can go here and skin them and there you go they don't drop a lot of other resources but it's gonna be your fastest way probably to get the I'm gonna just, just discard this to get the special drops to craft your rifle and then you can move on to better and stronger things so here's where I am Right off, right between, where is this? So Naxium is over here. So all the hunting areas are going to be this. Some uh, rhinos and deer and lions over here. The lions are along the, the, the river here. There's some more lions. Then here you have, uh, you have mostly wolves. You have some lions over here as well. And some rhinos and deer over here. And then you have uh, most of the deer are here. This is where I am now. And most of the wolves are here. And I think a lot of rhinos are over here. So let's get on my horse and I can show you these locations. So there's enough wolves here for a couple of people's rotation. They spawn fairly quickly too. All these all these mobs here are wolves. So quite, uh, quite the large amount of wolves here. At least two people can, can hunt comfortably here. And then you have uh, quite a few rhinos here. Considering how hard they are to kill. Uh, you may have enough for one rotation here. Let's see. Now one, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rhinos. And then there's some more across the street here too. If I can not be stopped by the fence, there you go. Yeah, so a few more rhinos over here. So if you want to hunt hard, hard, oh, there's another lion here. There you go. There's a new lion. I did not realize this lion was here. Was here with another wolf there. But sadly, it is only one. So I think that ups my count of lions to some wolves here to about seven, maybe. So let's see. And then here you have some more rhinos. The problem with the lions that are all very, very far spread. So you cannot really do a rotation for lions. I mean, you can, but you're going to have to get on your horse. And then for the deer, those uh, deer, they're going to be over here. Quite a few deer, definitely enough for at least one rotation. Maybe two people can grind here because you can go around these trees over here too. Right? So, so the deer are going to be here, like I said. Some rhinos here, and the wolves here, and the lion. We just saw one lion here. Let's go find more lions. There are some lions over here, but these lions are not actual kill actually killable. They're just interacting with this horse here for the for flavor. So don't get too excited. There are some more delicious spawns here as well right north of the these uh, deer so if you want to split your time between hunting and gathering the locia you can come here and gather some delosha here to north uh, right here around salanar probably is going to be called going south here there's a lion spawn here for hunting another two lions here i believe one more here and then one more over there so that's three lions that's four so far four or five so far right, so these lions are over here just west of Solon Salanar. There's some more lions over here. There's a couple of lions over here too. On this side here. Right, one more lion here. Uh, one more lion here. There's one non-hunting lion. I think this this one here. Yeah, this one is not a hunting lion. It's a lion. You can get for meat, but it's not a hunting one. Maybe maybe they, they put that one by mistake. Maybe the one they would change eventually. To become a, a hunting lion but yeah so there's uh maybe four here so that's one two three four maybe eight lions so far and then uh, if you go across the bridge here there will be some more lions here along the river i believe there's uh, where is it yeah, one lion over here on the other side of the river right i'm over here right now closer to naxium 
or Nexion. There's two lions here. I believe there's one more. Right, one more lion here. So about ten lions spawn. Are there any more lions over here? It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so about ten lions spawns here. I'm not sure if that's good enough. So yeah. Again, probably oh there's one more lion over here. There you go. So that's about eleven. Oh, twelve? There you go. So twelve lions. Oh, thirteen. Oh, this so this is it's a bit airy here for lions. So if you want to hunt just for the lions, and some more wolves here, a lot more wolves over here. So I would say if you want to just get the lions, come west of the bridge, closer to Naxium, because we're gonna get about five or well, maybe what, six, six or seven spots here, right? There was some, some around here, towards this bend here, and then some three or four here. So three or four here, and then three or four here. So this is probably gonna be your main lion mate meat rotation for the leader All right so then you got some more rhinos and some more wolves here but nothing nothing special so yeah um that's for that's it for hunting here now let's talk about brumble tree things now let's go there first and over here so uh, let's check out where to get the they're not lot, unfortunately there are not a lot of spots to manually gather the brumble wood or the or the thorn the thorny vine and the new, the new trees from Odalita there are not a lot of spots and then there are two spots that I know of where you can go and manually grind or, or manually gather them and we're going to one of them right now all right so there should be some over here supposedly around here somewhere I think I'm gonna have to switch channels here oh there you go so yeah so so here you go so there's one and then from here you're gonna go this way gonna be a couple more here should be one more here and so the, the shape they want to look for is these contorted spiny looking trees here and then from here you're gonna go down this here here to the right should be someone I don't think this is one of them there should be some more this is also not one of them and, and there will be some more over here this is not this is not it this is also not one of them so they're very rare and this is one of them here right here right so that's about what four maybe five four or five and then uh, is this one of them it looks like it's not anything okay should be one more over here maybe with some luck no no this, this is not it should be one more over here maybe there you go so this is another one of them so yeah this is where i am right now over here this is at the 300 ap grinding area straight south from it you can, my, my horse is over here there's an NPC right here so pretty much just straight shot south from the 300 AP 3 person 300 AP grinding zone here you can go there's probably maybe 10 or so uh, trees here but that's pretty much it after that then you're gonna have to switch channels so not not a very not very easy to grind for or to to manually gather these new trees here so like i said your best bet is probably going to be to just put your best workers there's one more over here one more over here yeah, so it's probably about 10 and then the other area is going to be around here let's go to the other place now so that i can show you the other grinding spot for these things all right so here we are for the other the second place here for the brumble vines and that's going to be east of your olum which is the, the the 300 ap area again so the first one was straight south around here and uh, the second one is east of olum interesting because the whole brumble tree vine forest thing here has no no rely no good areas to go gather the the tree where they gets its namesake from All right so you get here to east of olin and you go, can go down here you're gonna be there's about 13 last time i counted i think here but they are not all they are not all uh gatherable this one is uh this one is uh so there's some of them over here you can go around uh i think i've showed it on my first or the leader video this amy area here so if you watch the first one uh, this may be repeat content if you have not and then uh, you can go there uh, and watch if you want a more exact count of which one of these trees are actually gatherable there's clearly an ill misplaced tree here uh inside a rock uh but uh let's forget about that this one you cannot gather as you can see this one you can 
and some of these other ones here you, you will be able to gather but clearly not all of them so you can go ahead with your axe and find or your syringe and gather from these and you can go back up the hill here I'm missing the climbing from uh, Genshin Impact already uh, so there's some more over here on the roadside as well so I'm still here east of Olum as you can see uh, this one is not there may be some more here no, clearly not I think there's some of these there are at gatherable not this one as you can see gathering these trees is not really the bad the most fun thing because there aren't that many and uh, the two areas are not necessarily next to each other they may seem close by, but they are you know, because of how windy the roads are here and the, all the the cliffs. You're gonna have to go around. Yes, yeah, so this one is one more they can get here, and then uh, I think that's it. I don't think there's any over there. It doesn't look like there's any nickel uh, gathering spots, at least no reliable ones. So rip, rip mining in Odalita. Yeah, I haven't been able to find any nickel spots for at least for reliable farming or, or, or gathering spots or the leader if i find any information later i'll put it in, uh, in a comment below a uh, general location there and you can feel free to come on discord or on the on the stream to ask me more about where to get if you cannot find it if i find information i will share with you guys I just have not been able to find any things. But that's going to be it here for my final preparation guide for the leader for you guys. As always, if you liked the video and thought it was informative, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button. And if you want to see more video content from me, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a member by clicking the join button somewhere down below this video. And uh, also come join our Discord community and our streams on Twitch. Links for all those things down below and stay tuned for this Wednesday's patch note videos for BDO and other videos that I will release uh, at some time this week and uh, let me know what you want to see for next week's BDO video in the comments below. I'm thinking about releasing a video here doing a run through and explanation of uh, the 43 quests I believe that comprise the quests the requirement to get your boss gear exchange coupon for the season server on the season on the second season here in korea so if you guys do not get those quests out on the, your patch notes this wednesday i will run it with the crew on the wednesday night or the thursday night stream so if you want to come check that out uh, come join the stream and uh, then i'll upload that the results for you guys on uh, sunday or monday next week at some point but uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me for now. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.